I'm Sarah Estabrooks with Catholics Online, and welcome to your course, How to Be a Good Catholic on Social Media. This course is going to help you live out your faith online by asking you to reflect on your use of social media and how that plays into your identity as a Catholic. So today is our introduction video, and we're going to talk about what to expect from this course, as well as go over a few basic things that we should remember every time we use social media. So lesson number one is going to be called, You Are an Image of God. And in this lesson we'll talk about your identity as an image of God and how to reflect God in the way that you portray yourself on social media. Lesson number two, you are called to evangelize. We all have this mission from God to bring the gospel to the world. And social media is an excellent opportunity for us to do that. We also have to remember that the way that we act on social media is visible to others. And so evangelization is a really good mindset to have whenever we interact with anything on social media. Lesson number three, you are called to holiness. In this lesson, we'll talk about the virtue of prudence and focusing on our vocation in our use of social media. Sometimes social media can be a distraction to the things that we're supposed to be doing in our life. So we'll talk about setting some limits and asking ourselves to discern our social media use. Lesson number four, the internet is not real life. Now, this one can be really tricky because we live in a world filled with screens and phones and all sorts of social media is everywhere. And sometimes social media can give us this false view of what real life looks like. So in this lesson, we'll talk about how to combat that view and not let it um, place unrealistic expectations on our own lives. We'll also talk a little bit about anxiety, depression, and addictions, how social media plays a factor in these, and what to do if you're struggling in any of those areas. Lesson number five, the biggest mistakes and best practices of social media. And this will just be a fun lesson sharing some of these things and you can ask yourself, do I do these things? Do I not do these things? What things should I stop doing? And what things should I start practicing to be a better Catholic on social media? And then finally, we'll have an assessment. And this is not a test. This is just taking stock of where you are in your social media use, what you do and don't do, and where you want to go from here as far as practicing your faith better in the internet world. Okay, so for today, I want to talk about two things, privacy and time limits. So privacy is really important to remember any time we log into social media. Sometimes we can be fooled by the nature of social media into thinking that things are private and, and safe and close, and that's just not the case. But when we use social media, we can use it in the privacy of our homes, um, on our smartphones, and just everything feels like you know it's, it's closed in and it's private. But we have to remember that social media is designed to be a public medium. It's designed for networking. It's designed for sharing. It's designed for showing other people what you do. So while there are ways on certain platforms to set your privacy, so for example, um, you know, a private account where people can't see what you post or only your friends can see what you post, these settings are limited. And anytime you interact with something that's not on your own profile, it's like you're making a public statement. So keep that in mind when you're setting your privacy limits that they are limited and they're only applied to certain things. And so, <clears throat> also, you want to protect yourself, your own privacy, and the privacy of your loved ones. Sometimes we forget that if we share something, for example, a picture of yourself and a friend or yourself and a family member, that other people can see this too. And we have to respect the other person when we're sharing pictures and information about them. So think about them as a person and whether you have the right to share this or whether it's right for you to share this sort of thing. Uh, so some people actually have a policy of what sort of things that they're going to share on social media uh, to protect their privacy or how they're going to use social media to protect their privacy. If you have a policy like this, whether written or unwritten, spoken or unspoken, I would encourage you now to review that policy and see if that policy needs any changes, any refinements. See if you've been respecting the privacy of yourself and others or if you could buckle down on that a little bit and make sure that you're being aware that social media is a public forum. 
If you do not have one of these policies, I would encourage you to spend some time today in prayer and reflection, um, just discerning what the best policy would be for you to protect your own privacy and the privacy of others on social media. All right, so time limits. This is another thing that can be really difficult. Anytime we log into social media, it's designed to keep us there. And if we think we're only going to spend a few minutes checking in on our notifications and getting back to messages, chances are we're going to spend a lot more than that. And before you know it, a half an hour has blown by. And where did all that time go? Well, it went into the infinite scroll. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about tips for managing your time on social media a little later in this course. But for today, just try to be aware of how much time you're spending on social media and maybe make a note of what your normal social media time in a day or in a week looks like and also make a note of what your ideal amount of time to spend on social media in a day or in a week would look like. And if you have no idea how much time you're spending on social media in a given day, which often is the case, um, I find that sometimes I'm just clueless about how often I click onto my phone and start scrolling through my social media apps. There are apps that you can download that track your time spent on your phone and even break it down to track your time spent on different social media platforms. So if you have no clue about how much time you're spending on social media, go ahead and search for one of those apps download it and let it start tracking your time so that by the time we get to the end of this course you can be more aware of how you've been using your time on social media and how to go forward using your time on social media okay so for today you have two things to think about first of all privacy what's your written or unwritten policy does do you need to make one or revisit your policy and secondly time limits just be aware of how much time you're spending on social media so that you can have a goal moving forward is how much time you want to spend on social media all right i'm looking forward to your next course we'll see you next time for how you are an image of god and how that affects your social media use god bless you